to talk to you guys about the Instapot. I've never tried one yet. So my, I reached out to my sister and I had her go shop around and see what she could find for like the best deal. And she ended up finding this one at Kohl's. Um, this one is the eight quart. Let's see, the duo one. And let's see what else. Okay, so this is the seven in one multi-use programmable pressure, pressure cooker. So this is what it looks like on the outside, if you guys can see. And then when you open, I already opened just the top part of it because I wanted to um, pull out the paperwork on it first and kind of just look it over um, so I could explain to you guys a little bit better. I know there are other, there are other videos out there that um, where the people already use them so they can give you a little bit better description on um, that part of it. But I, what I want to do in this video is go over my view of everything when I unbox it. And then at the end of the video, I'll show you what we ended up cooking. I am going to do yogurt um, in this for tonight. And then tomorrow's meal, we are going to try um, a meal in the recipe book. So you, you do get a recipe book with it. And we're gonna make the lemon chicken in here. So when you first open up the box, it'll explain everything that's gonna be in, in here. And then I'll go through that also. You get uh, Instapot recipe book. And there's quite a bit of recipes in here. Now, when my sister went and um, got this one, hold on one second, let me see. Okay, I just wanted to see what the price was. So between this and the air fryer, I got my air fryer. I'm gonna do another video on my air fryer too. But I think she it was like $135 for both of them. So she ended up getting a really good deal for both machines. So like I was saying, you get a recipe book, you get your user manual, and then you also get kind of like a quick, quick start guide on how to like standby mode, preheating, safety warning, saute, yogurt, and pasteurizing milk. So it kind of gives you, and then step by step on the bottom also. But I did want to show you guys in the manual. Well, we got Evelyn right behind here too, so she's kind of trying to help out if you hear her. Um, they'll have like control features, so like rice, multigrain, um, when, and then getting started, they'll give you like another quick guide for getting started. It comes with like a little, um, kind of like a overflow or a condensation collector. It'll have that on there. Uh, initial test run. So what they'll have you do is add three measuring cups of water and then, um, close the lid, turn the steam release handle and they'll give you on your on here and also on the on the box, it tells you like which one is um, for all the settings. So and then press steam button. The preheating cycle will start after 10 seconds. So that'll be your start just to make sure everything is working properly. Um, pressure cooking, non-pressure cooking. And then like your warranty and stuff, cooking and safety tips, care and cleaning. So everything, troubleshooting is also in here. So everything is in your user manual book when you get that also. Yeah, you can eat that. You eat it. Okay. She has a sucker and hopes to keep her quiet for a little while. Okay. So when you open it up, you take that out. Um, for the people that are watching this video that don't know us, um, we're a family of 10. I have eight of our children left in the home. The two older ones are grown out of the house now. So we still have the eight plus me and my husband that's 10. 
Um, we ended up going with the eight quart just because of our family size. Um, with us making meals, we're home. I homeschool the kids, so we are always, um, you know, cooking meals. In some of my other videos, I um, mentioned I don't really enjoy cooking, but I'm hoping with this Instapot that I'm able to kind of come up with quick meals. Or cooking time is going to be reduced um, by when I need to prep and when I can be finished with the meal. So I'm hoping this is just going to benefit. And then I have another, I have a child that's going to be in the video later when we do the yogurt. Um, he enjoys cooking, so this will be probably something that he'll enjoy using a lot. So, so far, it's pretty, kind of pretty heavy. I'm going to lower you guys down a little bit. You'll only see a little bit of me. There we go. I'll try it. I'll lift it up. Um, when you take the cover off, you're just going to spin it off. It does come with uh, a venting and a seal. So these are things that you're gonna be looking for when you're making your meals. It has a giant rubber seal in the cover. Oh, another thing with the cover too, you can place it on either side of your machine. So when you're in the middle of it, maybe changing something over and you wanna take your lid off and you don't wanna put it on your countertops and burn your countertops or your table, you can just pop it off and put it right there. Inside it says, pay attention to all the warning labels, initial test run. So it gives you all the same stuff that you were to get in your user manual. It's just another extra kind of warranty thing on there. Okay, inside this bag, you will get, oh boy, two ladles. Um, and this just, uh, let's see once here on the box. This gives us all the rice paddle, soup spoon. So here's our rice. And then this soup is kind of just like a little ladle. And then it gives you the measuring cup, which is nice because it's just the perfect size for what you need. There we go. So it just actually just slides. I'll bring you guys a little closer. It just pops right on there. I'll give her the extra tools to play with. This is your rack that you're gonna use when you put in your pot here. And here it also says, make sure the heating element is free from grease and debris. So here is the bottom part inside, I'll show you. That's what it looks like inside. So you're not gonna want anything um, wet inside there. This is your pot you're gonna be working on. And it also has um, a measuring line in here for your max like recipes and stuff. You're not going to want to go over these lines with your recipes. Okay, so what I was saying with this rack, it fits right inside this dish. Goes right up against the... Now let's see if I can show you a little nicer here. So when you place that in there, it just rests right here on the bottom. You're gonna be adding your water in here. You always have to have water in with most of your recipes just because that's where you're gonna get your pressurized. Um, that's how it's gonna pressurize. So you can put your meats on here. You can put your glass jars on here. You're gonna be making your, well, we'll be making our yogurt tonight on these with our little um, mason jars that we have. We'll probably just use our jelly jam little jars and put them in there. So we're gonna do four of them tonight. And we'll show you how that goes. Another thing that you wanna do with your new 
uh, Instant Pot is wash everything down with soap and water before you get started. So that's, um, that's all that part. Now on the front here, here I'm gonna bring you guys down. Let's see. I'll bring you guys in here. Up here you have your soup broth, you have your meat stew, bean chili, poultry, your rice, your multigrain, porridge, steam, and then down here you have your slow cook, saute, pressure level, delay start, keep warm, cancel, yogurt, and pressure cook. So tonight we'll be doing the yogurt setting. So that's pretty much it for the unboxing part of the Instapot. Insta and then um, I'm gonna bring you guys back when we start doing our yogurt. So I told you guys that we were gonna use the Instant Pot tonight to make yogurt, and Gage is gonna help me um, measure everything out, and then we'll give you an idea of how to get things started with making your own yogurt. Gage is gonna measure out five cups of milk and there is nothing in the pot. So he's just gonna pour five cups in the Instant Pot. Okay, so that's three cups of whole milk. So, five cups. Oh, it's okay. That's five cups and we have the whole milk. Now Gage is gonna put the lid on. And the recipe that we're following states that we don't need to, no, turn it, you can turn it. There you go. Um, so on the back, it has your, your uh, their pressurizing and it's, you can have it on any setting. So there's sealing and then venting and the recipe, she just went with sealing. So that's what we have it on right now. Now Gage is gonna press the yogurt button. Yeah, I'll show you guys. So here's the yogurt button and then he's gonna press it one more time and he's gonna get it to boil. So now we're gonna set a timer for 15 minutes and we'll meet you back after 15 minutes. 15 minutes is up and Gage is going to shut it off. Cancel. It's gonna open it up and now the milk inside is already boiled. So you're gonna need to get some, um, it's pretty warm. I see the steam coming out. So he's gonna get some gloves and take that out and then we're gonna set the timer for 10 minutes. It has to be room temperature before we can add uh, a little bit of regular yogurt. So we're gonna set the timer for 10 minutes after he takes it out for the milk to cool and then we need to add our little bit of yogurt and sugar to the milk mixture so we'll come back okay so gage is gonna finish up with the uh, yogurt and he's gonna put vanilla yogurt so we're just using the yo play vanilla yogurt and he's going to put two thirds cup with the five cups of whole milk. So more or less is kind of just like a starter to the yogurt. So a tablespoon of sugar in with the yogurt and then you need to mix it okay so now pour that into the milk mixture if you look inside it kind of is a little starting to get a little thick on top of the milk so Gage is gonna pour that in
And now he's gonna whisk that together. And now he's gonna put it back in the Instapot. No, you gotta press yogurt again. And you're gonna do eight hours. Okay, hours. Mm -hmm. So now we let that cook for eight hours and we'll be back. So this is what the yogurt looked like after I poured it out of the Instapot when it was finished, that's what the pot looks like, and I'll be putting them in this jars. Um, this is a plain yogurt, so you'll have to add your flavoring and stuff to it, like vanilla or whatever flavor that you want to make of it, or just eat it the way it is and put some, I think they said like honey or cinnamon and other things on it. So there's that, it turned out pretty good.